Hello Spartans and welcome back to another video. Now, this time, you guys are involved with this one. So I decided to do a community vote on the best weapon to blade and sorcery. I may have missed out the Lumber Axe, I'm really sorry to Lumber Axe users. Anyway, don't think anyone uses that thing anyway, and if you do, leave a comment let me know. So we're going to be talking about the top 5 weapons that you guys voted. There's, there's a couple I really don't agree with, especially number 3, really. But we'll see, you know, you guys can see what's coming in the rest of the video. And make sure to stay at the end, because I know you guys are going to agree with the last one, 100%. I agree with it, you guys have to agree with it. Alright, let's get into number 5. Okay, so at number 5 we have the Reverend Sword. Now, first of all, I think this personally is the best, the best balanced weapon in the game. You can use it one-handed really nicely, you can use it two-handed very nicely, and I think you guys really picked the right weapon for number 5. I think this could actually honestly be higher. I love the design, it's old, and the only thing that's bad about it is its imbue time is not great. But yeah, I think you guys picked correctly for number 5, so let's give this weapon a bit of a test. First of all, we're just going to spawn a couple of dummies and test out how good this weapon actually is. Yes, it's fantastic. Alright, let's do some parrying and countering just to uh, check up on that, and we'll move on to the next weapon. Attack me. These NPCs are so goofy, dude. Come on. Come on. Attack. Yeah, this thing's great. You can just see, and we can do one hand as well just to... Uh, Make sure you guys can see that as well. And you'll see that every single way of using this weapon is just fantastic. Come on, attack. There we go. And you, you got to admit, this thing just does its job. It's fantastic. Anyway, moving on to the next weapon. And coming in at number four, we have the short sword. Now, this thing, as again, is a very well-rounded weapon. The only thing I don't like is there's no way to two-hand it. You can only one-hand it, so that is a downside. I would actually put the Reverend Sword above this weapon, but as a fluid moving weapon for your long arm swings and for actually getting in there and getting a bit personal, this thing is so fun. So let's give it a test with the standard dummies. Okay, so we're going to test Slash and then we're going to test Thrust. Slash is good. Thrust seems good. So yeah, this thing can do it all for a simple small weapon. It's also, I think, got some blunt potential on the hilt. So that's fun. I really do like using this weapon. And it's uh, very fun to uh, use with a shield or use with a second short sword or maybe a dagger, a little parrying dagger, you know, all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's spawn in some real enemies and let's try and fight. You know. Okay, let's go. Who's going to attack first? There's one. I think my game crashed. Well, um, the short sword was so good that it crashed my game, so that's annoying. Anyway, I guess we'll stay in the home from now on. It's a lot safer than the, uh, the Outer Rim maps. <laughs> okay, well, um, yeah, short sword in at number four. Very nice. Let's move on to the next weapon. Now, before I show you what the next weapon is, I have to say... Make very clear this was community voted. You guys voted for this. Okay, remember you voted for this, not me. This is not my choice. Okay, now that's out the way. <laughs> Number four is the skinning knife. <laughs> really? Really, guys? You gonna make the skinning knife number four? Alright, we'll roll with it. What's the skinning knife good at then? Let's see. The skinning knife is not really good at a lot. Um, excuse me? That was just unexpected. But anyway, the skinning, <laughs> the skinning knife is good at one thing. Small little stabs. And that's about all it's good at. It can't really slash. The hell? The skinning knife just, it doesn't really slash very well. It stabs mildly well. It's okay for a little bit of stealth, but otherwise you don't really want to be using the skinning knife for anything. Um, I can't really see what you guys would use it for, maybe for throwing. Yeah, it can throw, but it doesn't do a lot. I've actually lost it now. It's actually that good. I, it, it's just disappeared. So I'm going to have to get a new one. Thanks, game. Okay, yeah. So the skinning knife is just... It really is what it says it is. It's not very powerful. Look, I'm having to stab this guy multiple times to kill him. That's not what you want out of a weapon. It's not what I want out of a weapon. You guys are crazy for voting that number three. But oh well. You guys, you guys, maybe, maybe, if you guys find a way to use a skinning knife that's better than I use it, 
please let me know in the comments, honestly, because I cannot think of a reason why you would ever use the skinning knife over any of the other weapons in the game. I'm failing at climbing while trying to tell you this, but yeah, let me know. Moving on to the next weapon. Okay, so the next weapon I could, I could see, I could see that happening, you know, the dagger. Number two, you know, I think you guys voted a fairly okay weapon. I don't believe it should be number two, because it just has no defensive value. And before anyone comments, I see you on all my other videos about daggers. Oh, I can block with a dagger, you can definitely defend with a dagger. Yeah, but, yeah, but why, why would you? You know, you can just defend with a bigger weapon that has a bigger radius. If you have to get this close to defend, you have all this distance before some, like, someone could stab you all the way until you get to here. It's really not that good, and I don't see why people try to keep justifying that the dagger can be used defensively. Oh yeah, you could block like this. No, you can't. The dagger might be good, but it's it's not incredible. Um, now, fun fact, a dagger is always 100% fun, you know? You can just be kind of crazy brutal with it. Um, you can go for those backhanded stabs, and obviously you can use it for a bit of stealth, you know? Sneak up behind someone, muffle them, grab, stab, down. So the dagger is really fun if you're going for that kind of approach, but really, for full-on combat, it's not my favourite. You can make it look damn good, but that's about it. Moving on to the next weapon, and our final weapon. Now, I'm really happy what you guys voted in at number one, because it just had to be. It just really had to be. It's such a great weapon. It's such a basic weapon, but it's so fun. I absolutely love it. And that is our good old pal, the longsword. Now, the longsword was one of the first weapons I got good at in this game, and, uh, yeah, I just think it's easily one of the best weapons. It's well-balanced, you can one-hand it with a decent pace, you can two-hand it really well, and for anyone who doesn't know how to two-hand, maybe I'll make a video on how to two-hand better in this game. But anyway, uh, let's give this weapon a test. It just has perfect balance. It's not the sharpest weapon, but it doesn't need to be, because it just demolishes at a good range and like I said one handed still works as well you can really go nicely with the one hands too now another advantage this has is it has a decent pommel for bashing which is lovely and you know you've got an entire sword here you can really kind of get your thrusts in you can kind of half sword if you kind of force it there's probably better weapons for that in medieval mega pack but this is another request for the devs. Please add half sorting. All you have to do is add a handle to the blade. It's so easy. Please do it. I would love that. Thank you very much. But yeah, I completely agree with you guys. This is the best weapon in the game. It's so satisfying and fun to use. And I can just keep going like this all day, murdering NPCs one after the other repeatedly. Am I going to miss a decapitation? Absolutely not, because I've used this weapon for about 200. There we go, I missed it. <laughs> I was gonna say about used it for about 200 hours. I'm gonna steal his apple. Oh, okay. And I'm just gonna give a quick honorable mention to a weapon that I really like, and that is the war sword. I'm sure you guys know all about it. It's basically just a fancy long sword. Very surprised it didn't make the top 10, it just got in the top 6. So just outside, I had to mention it, but yeah. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and let me know in the bottom what's your favourite weapon in the game. I'm really interested. Anyway guys, see you guys in the next video. In a bit.